You'll be on YouTube with that now, next year. There you, you go, you're famous on YouTube. You tell everyone, say hello to everyone. Hello, hello everyone. <laughs> <laughs> so we're back just down the road, another phone call off my stepdad. And uh, you remember the bees from the other week? I'll put the picture here for those who haven't seen it. If not, go back and see it. So we cut the bees out of a tree with a chainsaw. Remember, as a rule, we don't do swarms. But they've not moved far. They're actually in the hedge and I don't know if you can make that out but there's some uh, some wild comb in there so I've just got suited up I've already been uh, cutting some branches back around them and been stung so I'm not going to risk it um, we've been up since early this morning uh, we've been moving bees to beans which you're going to see in this video um, but I'll let you watch that now and then I'll get cracking with this and film as I go so we're on site, we're up with the wildlife and thankfully there's no bees flying so it is a little bit early for those so before so before they get active we're just going to seal the entrances i just use this little strips of upholstery foam um, i'll get them blocked in get them loaded on the truck and get them off to southport so there we go, all loaded up. Let's walk with our four, five, six, eight hives in the back of the truck. A load of supers. And another couple of rows of hives there. So it's actually quite cool this morning. I chose today for a particular reason. This is the coolest day we're going to get this week. So temperatures are about 12 degrees. It's actually raining a little bit, believe it or not, but given this year, not hard to believe. So I'll get these on the road, get them offloaded at the other end. Don't want them sat uh, sealed up for too long, don't want them overeating. But like I said, this is the only day we could have done it. The forecast is just too warm for the rest of the week, so. Oh, good. Oh, I've got a leak. Yeah, so get on his way and get these bees out. So there we go, that's eight or so I've brought. Uh, dropped them off right on the edge of the, uh, the beans. So there's beans just on the other side. Well, there's beans everywhere, to be honest, here. But I'm edging my bets a little bit. Like I said, I've only brought either eight or ten or so. Um, I've got some more to bring up once I've had a sort through. But the weather's either, either fantastically glorious here or really, really rough. So I don't want to bring everything up here as I did last year. And then uh, at times I'm just struggling a little bit to get out the hive. So... Um, yeah, take my time back down this track. We've got another, I think, eight times in the back of the truck. So off over to Scammer's Brick, Scare's Brick, um, to drop these off on another bean site. You can see these beans have been in flower for at least a couple of weeks now. One thing I've spotted all along this field is the balsams out already. What a crazy year. So it's all the way along that hedge line there. I hope it's not going to be an early end to the season. But yeah, those beans have been at least a week or two, haven't they? So that's another six hives here. Looks like right on the edge of the crop. With the space for a couple more. So again, I've more hives to bring up here. Once I get sorted and go through them and see what's what. But uh, yeah, just starting. These flowers, so we've caught them just at the right time. So we're back at Liverpool One. So we're here last week, and unfortunately, we had to take the supers off and top them up with some uh, invert syrup because these bees were bone dry and really starting to struggle. But that said, the difference a week makes again. Uh, the back I can see bringing pollen in, and hopefully some uh, some fresh nectar as well. So what we'll do. We'll just check them for stores and then we'll just change these uh, boxes back over. So each one of these Miller feeders were full to the brim and they've taken all that down. So hopefully all that's in the brood frames now. In fact, I can see it in the top of these frames. Plenty of stores in now. I don't know if you can make that, make that out. That's more like it though. That's how I'd want to see these. Yeah, all of these frames are really, really heavy with stores now. So hopefully no more worries for the rest of the season and there's the queen on the second frame 
and we see fresh eggs. So happy days with that one. Don't really need to go any further in terms of an inspection. Queen's laying, they've got plenty of stores. In fact, they've capped some of that there around the brood, so that's perfect frame. Brooding all stages, we're now spring of stores around the outside. Honestly, honestly, I think if we, if we hadn't have fed these bees last week, they'd have been dead now when we up this hive up. That's hive number two, hive number one then. So this is the one that's been in about a week longer. Picking frames up with the feeder there. Make sure I check the feeder for the queen. A lot more bees in this one. And I'm just gonna revert these boxes back round. Oh, some serious weight in that now. See lots of pollen coming in here as well. That's white and yellow pollen. I've got a visitor. Want to grab your suit there, that's the chief on the side. Hey, yeah. <laughs> this is a, a fear conquering exercise for me. What, what do they call it? Immersion therapy? Yeah, yeah. Um, two small hives or yeah. nursery hives of six frames, and obviously they've expanded now over the past few months to fill the entire box. Yeah. So the pollen is what they feed the young brood on, and if you look in that store, there, the frame there, it's all this shiny liquid. Yes. Yeah. So that's the sugar syrup we put in last week and that's all capped. So that's what we want. They've got plenty of food now. And then if we can spot one, I'll point it out. There's a, a lazy boy, a lazy drone about. In fact, there's one there with the big eyes. Yeah. So his only job in life is to mate with virgin queens. He doesn't do anything for himself, doesn't feed himself. They're actually quite calm. Do you want to take, have your picture taken with him? Uh, Are you feeling brave enough? Yeah, they're gonna sting my hand. They shouldn't do. So still on, uh, on Liverpool one roof, and uh, I did mention a few weeks ago about the seagulls being an issue when we're up here and attacking. This is, uh, this is hive number two, right at the side of the hive. We've got the, uh, the seagull nest. Um, gonna have to watch out for that one. Hard hats may have to be worn in the future, so. So this is another site where we came and fed last week, myself and Vic. So we, anything that needed feed, we changed everything over, so we put the supers on the bottom, free box on the top, and then the feeder, just so they don't store any, uh, any syrup in the, fi in the supers, that's all. And then I brought a couple of nukes here, just to backfill a couple of dead oats that we had. So what we're gonna do today, as you can see, the floor is well and truly on. You can actually smell nectar and pollen again in the air at last. So we're just gonna change these back over, three boxes at the bottom, supers on top and hopefully they'll, uh, they'll start back filling those supers with some delicious honey. I keep saying it, but totally different week. The amount of pollen and nectar coming into these hives. Somebody having a jar ride? Yeah, so the amount of po fresh pollen and nectar coming in these hives is epic. The field beans are in flower. Literally just opposite, there's a wild flower meadow. So my taxi just turned up. I better get on the and get sorted. If only. So, uh, yeah, I actually, uh, we've gone from having nothing to uh, probably too much coming in all at once, to be honest. So I'll keep us on these now, make sure they've uh, got plenty of supers on going forward because it's a massive, massive area this for field beans. So, uh, and they're all very, very staggered. So hopefully we'll get a good couple of months of field beans now flowering, so. That's not where we are then. Uh, we're up at the Racing Stables Apri and I emailed these the, last week when I came has been exceptionally large colonies and need a little bit of space. So I ordered and painted a couple of new brood boxes this week, obviously in racing colours. And then we've just put them on double brood, but underneath so the bees, if they need space, they can work their way down. But as you can see, lots of colonies. Already took a super off the absolutely rim packed full and weighs an absolute ton and we'll just stick another couple of supers on. As I've seen, it's been driving around, the, bram the bramble is about to flower, so we won't be lacking nectar for long, but if you look in them frames, you can see it's all shiny. So they're still bringing nectar in, open queen cell, so we, are, we do have an emerged queen. So last time I came in, this was packed with uh, queen cells, 
but no lack of bees, so they haven't swarmed. Just done some sort of super procedure, so. I'll probably not go any further. I'll probably give them another week for that queen to go and get mated. Or ensure she gets mated and then we'll, uh, we'll give them a full inspection next week. So this is what I was doing before they started attacking me. Oh, they're nasty. I think these definitely remember me from uh, cutting them out of the tree. There's no queen in this, it's just all honey. So unfortunately there's definitely no queen in that, there's no brood at all in that comb, it's just all honey. So, left that box over with some honey, so hopefully they'll, uh, they'll stay good in that box and we may be able to save some of them bees. But uh, the crowd's waiting to taste some of that honey. <laughs> You've already been in it. Have you in it? Tasted it. Is it dripping? Yeah, no, your mum likes that. it. Just eat it like this, your mum. Shit. Yeah, suck it off, John. Make it burn, eh? Got that on camera. What? Give all. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't mean you say suck it off, John. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you don't eat on it. Oh, don't. No, it's probably grow up or something. Nice, ain't it? Sweet. You like bloody sugar, but yeah, but not that sweet. Pure only that. Could do a job. Take it with it. Have you not got a job? Your mum would eat that. I'm not. Oh. <coughs> you eat everything. Yeah. Not what? What dog there? Oh, ow! He's just been to groomers this morning. <laughs> <laughs> He's just had a He'll be stuck. <laughs> <laughs> I was the entertainment that trying to get off his head. 